and now till now we were using the class person within the my first file dot kt. Now the question arises: Can we create a class of person separately like we used to do in case of Java? The answer is yes. So inside the source folder here, I will simply create right click and create a new package like we create in case of Java. And now let us give it some name. Let's say com dot shrix. Hit OK. You can give it a name as per your wish. And now inside the package, you can also create one more class file. So simply right click, create a new, let's say Kotlin file class, and then simply use person. And and the type of file that you want to create is actually the class. So simply select class and hit on OK. So here we go. Here is the package name com dot strix that within which this file is actually present, right? And inside this, I have this class of person. Now inside this class of person, what I will do, I will simply cut this statement from here and paste it within this class. And now remove this class person from here. And now here it shows that unresolved person. It cannot find the person because because we are actually working under the different package, right? So whenever you find any error in case of IntelliJ IDE, simply press Alt plus Enter, right? Remember Alt plus Enter in case of both Mac and Windows, and simply click on Import. So here we got the import package com dot strix dot person. So it has simply imported the person dot kt file into our main file, right? So here the error has gone. And now we can use same person object dot name equal to Steve and then perform the operation as we were performing here, right? And now simply run the code. So here we get the name of the person is Steve again. Now, now similar to Java, in case of Kotlin, we also have the concept of constructor. So in order to create the constructor, here the syntax is little bit different. The constructor should be defined here only during the class declaration only. So to define a constructor, simply use bracket open and close. And then within this, simply define the variable name such as name colon string. And now here, what I will do, I will simply remove this statement from here and simply define a function, let's say display. And now inside this, I will simply cut the print statement from here control X and paste it within this function, right? And now here I will simply remove the interpolation because we don't need the person object here. The name is sufficient here. And here it says the name is actually unresolved. So here inside the constructor, we have to define var space name. I just forgot to mention var here, right? And now inside the main file, what I will do within the constructor, we need to pass some value. Let's say Steve. And here, let us remove it. Remove this statement. And now what I will do is, I will simply call person object dot display method, right? And now run the code. So here we get again the same output in the output console. Now when the program is running, then this statement is actually executed. That simply passes the value of Steve inside the person class constructor and then when we call this method of display, then this method will be executed. So this statement will be executed and we will get the name in the output. So this was again a brief introduction of how the constructor looks like in case of Kotlin. So I guess this was enough for the overview in this video for Kotlin. In the upcoming modules, we will discuss each and every concept that we discussed in this video in a lot more detail. So stay tuned with this course and catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.